Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tuqa and today I'll teach you the shapes of Hamza. We've learned that Hamza is written on Alif and it is called Alif Hamza. But in fact, there are several shapes of Hamza and today we will learn about these shapes. So hit the like button and let's get started. Hamza shapes are pronounced the same, so today's video is all about shapes. Let's start with the first one, which is Hamza with no seat. You can call it Hamza on the line, because it is written directly on the line. It needs no seat. Example, Ma, Ma, Ma means water. Ashrabu. Ma. I drink water. The second shape of Hamza is Alif Hamza. It could be written like this or this. And when it has Kasra, we write it like this or this. Hamza goes below the Alif. Examples Ahmad. Ahmad. It's a name. Ahmad. And Islam, Islam. We write Hamza below the alif because it has kasra, i, i, Islam. The third shape of Hamza is Hamza on wow. It could be written like this or this, as in su'al, su'al. Su'al means question. Hamza here is written on wow. Sual. Finally, Hamza on Nabira. Many call it Hamza on Ya, but I prefer to call it Hamza on Nabira because it has no dots as in Ya. Anyway, Hamza on Nabira has four shapes. For example, Asila. Asila. Asila is the plural form of Sual, it has two Hamza, Alif Hamza and Hamza on Nabira. You might ask, but Tuqa, where should I use each shape of Hamza? Well, it depends on many factors. If Hamza is the first letter of a word, then you should use it, you should write it with Alif as in Ahmad and Islam. If it is in the middle, then you can write it with Alif Wow or Ya. And in case of the final position, all shapes are applicable. Alif Hamza, Hamza on Wow, Hamza on Nabira, and Hamza on the line. Actually, Hamza on the line occurs only at the end of a word, as in these words. Ma, Ma, Hudu, Hudu, Shay. Shay. Hamza on the line is always preceded by sukun as in shay or a long vowel as in ma and hudu. Anyway, you might say I'm still not able to know when to use Alif Hamza, Hamza on wow or Hamza on nabira. Actually, at this level, I don't recommend learning Hamza rules. They are so advanced and they'll take a lot of time and eventually you will forget them. So for now, I recommend learning how to write Hamza for each new word. Just like in English, the word heart is written with E-A, not with O, not with U, not with A. Why? I don't know. You don't know. It's just how we learnt it. So I recommend using this method with Hamza in Arabic too. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Salam.